Gas laws. Objectives. Use Boyle's law to determine the pressure or volume of a gas at constant temperature. Use Charles law to determine the temperature or volume of a gas at constant pressure. Use Gila Sachs law to determine the temperature or pressure of a gas at constant volume. And finally, use the combined gas law to determine the temperature, pressure, or volume of a gas when it changes in two of these properties are given. What is the relationship between pressure and volume? Boyle's law states that for a fixed mass or amount of gas at constant temperature, the volume is inversely proportional to the pressure. For example, at 1 atmospheres and 6 liters, if you were to double the pressure to 2 atmospheres, the volume will half the 3 liters. P1 V1 is equal to P2 V2. When volume increases, pressure decreases. Or, if volume decreases, pressure will increase. They are inversely proportional. Sample problem 1. A sample of gas has a volume of 6 liters and a pressure of 2 atmospheres. What is the final pressure if the volume of the sample is increased to 12 liters while the temperature is constant? Given temperature is constant, we'll be using Ball's law. Pressure is 2 atmospheres, volume is 6 liters, the second pressure is unknown, and the second volume is 12 liters. Plugging it into our formula, we have the final pressure as 1 atmospheres. Since the volume was doubled, the pressure has to be halved. What is the relationship between temperature and volume? Charles' law states that for a fixed mass of gas at constant pressure, the volume is directly proportional to its temperature. Here, the temperature is 325 kelvins and 2 liters. If you were to double the temperature to 650 kelvins, the volume will also double to 4 liters. V1 divided by T1 is equal to V2 divided by T2. It's a direct relationship. When volume increases, temperature increases. Or if temperature increases, volume increases. Sample problem 2. A sample of gas has a volume of 5.4 liters and a temperature of 15 degrees Celsius. What is the final volume of the gas after the temperature has been increased to 42 degrees Celsius at constant pressure? Here we are given P is constant, therefore we will be using Charles law. The initial temperature is 15 degrees Celsius, but we need to convert it to kelvins. Here we have 288 kelvin. The initial volume is 5.4 liters. The final temperature is 42 degrees Celsius converted into Kelvin as 315 Kelvin. The second volume is unknown. Using Charles' law formula, V1 T1 is equal to V2 T2, plugging in our formula, we have our final volume as 5.9 liters. What is the relationship between temperature and pressure? Gale Sachs law states that for a fixed mass of gas at constant volume, the pressure is directly proportional to its temperature. Here we have the temperature at 325 kelvins and a pressure at 2 atmospheres. If the temperature was to double to 650 kelvins, the pressure will also double. It is a direct relationship. When pressure increases, temperature increases. Or if temperature increases, pressure increases. Sample problem 3. A sample of gas has a pressure of 4 atmosphere at 350 Kelvin. What is the final pressure if the temperature is increased to 700 Kelvin while the volume is kept constant? Using the given, if the volume is constant, we'll be using Gale Sachs law. The initial temperature is 350 Kelvin. Initial pressure is 4 atmospheres. The final temperature is 700 Kelvin. And the final volume is to be determined. Using P1, T1 is equal to P2, T2, substituting, we have our final answer as 8 liters. What is the combined gas law? 
All of the pressure temperature volume relationships for gases may be combined into a single relationship called the combined gas law. P1 V1 divided by T1 is equal to P2 V2 divided by T2. This expression is useful for studying the effect of changes in two of these variables on the third or on a fixed amount of gas. Sample problem four. When a car airbag inflates, the nitrogen gas is at a pressure of 1.3 atmospheres, a temperature of 301 Kelvin, and a volume of 40 liters. Calculate the volume of the nitrogen gas at STP. Given 301 Kelvin, 1.3 atmospheres, and 40 liters as the initial values, 273 Kelvin, and 1 atmosphere as the final values from reference table A, standard temperature and pressure. We need to calculate V2, our unknown. Using the complete gas law, substituting, we have our final volume as 47.2 liters. Sample problem 5. Determine the new pressure of a 6.4 liter sample of oxygen gas at 300 Kelvin and 100 kilopascals after the gas is compressed to 2.4 liters at 900 kelvins. Here we have the given using the complete gas law formula and substituting we have the final pressure as 800 kilopascals.